In this tutorial, we are going to solve a question under sound. So the question is saying a person standing one meter from a speaker hears its sound at an intensity of 7.50 times 10 to the power negative 3 watts per square meter. Part A. Find the corresponding decibel level. Part B. Find the sound intensity at a distance of 35 meters, assuming the sound propagate as a spherical wave. But C, find the decibel level at a distance of 35 meters. Now, what we need to understand is that eh, intensity is given by the formula power divided by area. So you can define intensity as the rate of power per unit area. Okay, now whenever, the, whenever we are talking about the spherical wave, the area of a spherical is given by 4 by R squared, where R is the ledges. So you can think of R is in meters. So in this case, R is the same as the distance. Okay, then when we talk about the decibel level, the decibel level represented by beta is given by 10. Uh, log the intensity divided by intensity constant. Now, the beta is the corresponding decibel level. And then the i is the intensity. Now, this i is the same as the intensity which we are talking about here, where we are talking about the power divided by area. And then the I naught is just basically the constant, intensity constant, which is given by 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 12 watts per square meter. So this is very, very important. We need to know this. Okay, now, when, uh, when the intensity, when the sound propagates at a spherical wave, as a spherical wave, then we can get the uh, the ratio of the intensity. So the ratio of the intensity is the intensity 2 divided by intensity 1 is given by so we know that this part here we are going to have what? We are going to have uh, this intensity is given by power divided by area. So we are going to say that this is going to be area 2. Then this part we are going to have power again here we are going to have area 1. So we are going to be working with this. And then we see the relationship which is going to be there and or we see the ratio which is going to be there. So for part A, the question is saying find the corresponding decibel. So to find the corresponding decibel, we are going to we are going to use the this formula which you have here. So we have everything. We have our our goal is to find the decibel level. So it's 10 log. We have uh, the intensity, we have been told that is 7.50 times 10 raised to the power negative 3 watts per square meter. Then we have the I naught. It says that the I naught is constant, which is 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 12 watts per square meter. So as we can see, there's watts per square meter and watts per square meter will go. So if we get our calculator, we plug in direct. We have 10. Uh, log open brackets 10 times log then we open the brackets we have 7.50 exponent neg 3 we divide it by 1.0 exponent neg 12 then we close the brackets so the one I'm getting I'm getting 98.7506 okay so I'm getting 98.75 so I can just leave it here, then I say the SI unit for decibel level is just basically small d and capital B. Okay, so this is going to be, so this is our answer for part A. 98.75 decibel. Okay, part B is saying find the sound intensity at a distance of 35 meters, assuming the, cost, assuming the sound propagate as a spherical wave. Okay, so they want us to find the intensity when the, when the distance was uh, when the distance was thirty five meters. 
Okay, so meaning that they want us to find uh, in density 2. We know that this one, the one which we have found here, we have got the first intensity which have been given here as in 7.5. So we're going to call that one as intensity 1. Okay, let's get let's get rid of this. We create space. So we are going to have um, we know that the ratio is given by this. We have one. So this is given by we know that this is going to give us uh, the power divided by area two. Here is going to be the power divided by area one. Okay, so we can say that this is the same as this is the same as it's going to give us this. So if I get on this, I want to manipulate this, it's going to give us this over area 2 times area 1 divided by power. So we can see that the power and power can go. The power will not change. So we can see that we are saying that the area of the spherical is given by 4 pi r squared. Meaning that what we are going to have here, we are going to have area 1 divided by area 2. So area, we are saying that is 4 pi r, but we are going to say r1 squared, and then this is going to be 4 pi r2 squared. So as we can see here, we can cancel this, and then we are going to have area 1 divided by area 2 is going to be equal to uh, r squared 1, then r squared 2. So this, now here we are going to have area 1 divided by area 2. Okay, so we can now get rid of this. Now this is going to give us, this is going to give us area 2 divided by, or the intensity 2 divided by intensity 1 is going to give us, area 1 is just basically R 1 squared, then here is R 2 squared. Okay, so this is the ratio which we use to find anything we want. So now from here we can see that the first intensity we know that we want to find intensity 2. The first intensity is, uh, we have been given, is this one. 7.5 7 times 10 raised to the power negative 3. Our goal is to find intensity 2. Where we have been told that the intensity 2, the radius is what? The radius is um, the R, the distance, which is 35. And we have been told that this person was standing uh, 1 meter, meaning that is the radius. So meaning that the intensity 1, is 7.50 times 10 raised to the power negative 3. And the R1 is 1 meter. So we also know the R2, it is um, 35 meters. But we don't know the I2. So we know that in this case we can say that I2 is going to be equal to, this is going to be the same as R2 squared divided by, oh, it's R1, R1 has to start on top. We have R1 squared divided by R2 squared. Then I, I'm crossing multiply and then I'm going to have times the I1. Okay, so let's plug in the values. So we're going to have the intensity 2 is going to be equal to the R1 is 1. We square it. This is 35. We square it. Okay, and then the intensity is 7 times 5, 0 times 10 raised to the power negative 3. Okay, so what are we getting? So if we plug in the values there, we should be able to get, we should be able to get, um, we have 1 divided by 35 squared. This times um, 7.50 exponent negative 3. Okay, so... The answer I'm getting, I'm getting 6. So the intensity 2 is just basically 6.122 times 10 raised to the power negative 6 watts per square meter. So this is our answer for part B. Then part C is saying find the decibel level at a distance of 35 meters. So at the distance of 35 meters, we know that the intensity is 6.122 times 10 raised to the power negative 6. So we are going to use the same formula which we used on part A to find our, our decibel level. So we are saying that intensity 2 is 
1, 2, 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 6. So our formula, we know that this power level is given by 10 log the intensity divided by the I0. So we have this. So the intensity we have found that is 6.122 two times 10 raised to the power negative 6. Everything has to be divided by, we said that I0 is constant, is 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 12. Okay, so it is watts per meter squared, even here watts per meter squared. So watts per meter squared will cancel, and then we are going to have 10 times log open brackets. 6.122 exponent neg 6 divided by 1.0 exponent neg 12. Okay, we close the brackets. So the answer I'm getting is uh, 67.88. Okay, I'm getting 67. I'm getting 67.868, which is the same as the uh, 8, 7. Okay. So, we have this now. So, this is the answer for part e, for part e C. So, this is how we get to, to to find the values or to find the the decibel level and the the distance as well as the intensity. So, as long as we are talking about the spherical wave, Meaning that we are talking about the ratio. Okay, just use this. That is the ratio which we are talking about. The decibel level, so from here you can, if they can even give you the value of this, and then you make the intensity as a subject of formula and find the intensity. Okay.